Welcome everybody, Randy Wild here with my personal goals presentation. Um, I'm building leadership endorsement candidate at Fort Hayes. So some things about me and my family. I'm 35 years old. I grew up in Maple Hill, Kansas. I, we currently live in Maple Hill. Um, it's a really small town located almost right in between Topeka and Manhattan, Kansas. We're about a mile north of I-70. Um, so great little town, good location. Um, we love being here. I've been married for 10 years, just um, about a week ago, actually, to my wife, Beth. We have two kids, Tinley, our daughter, is six years old. Our son, Rhett, um, is 20 months. And everything's always interesting around here. So uh, I love it. Every second of it, I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, I actually got some really exciting news um, in May, and I accepted my first principal job at Mission Valley High School. It's USD 330, so I will be the principal for the 912 building. Some of my past job experience, I was a para at St. Mary's High School for five years um, while I was finishing up my master's in special education, and then I moved into that role um, for the next five years. Then the 1920 school year, I spent as the transition and CTE coordinator for Call Valley, which would be St. Mary's and Rossville High School. So I helped students with obviously some special education um, needs and job skills, interviewing, job placements, uh, work shadows. Um, I did stuff with the technical schools and just kind of worked with all the kids um, once they turned 13 and above all the way to our 18 and 21 program in special education. Um, I played baseball in college, which I'll go over here in a minute, and that led into me coaching college when I first arrived at St. Mary's. Um, I did girls basketball at St. Mary's for 10 years. I was the head coach, spent five years as the head baseball coach, and then over the course of the past 13 years, I've worked um, with junior high and high school football, head junior high coach for a couple years, and I was also an assistant track coach for a few years. My educational background, I'm a big, um, big believer in the MIAA and the schools um, that they work with. I played baseball at um, Washburn University, as I said, for four years, and then I continued on to Washburn University getting my bachelor's degree. I moved into Pitt State for my master's in special education, and then I'm currently finishing up things at Fort Hayes State University for building leadership. So um, that's the only secondary experience that I know. Um, so I'm really excited to be a part of this program, and I'm very proud of the years that I've spent in these MIAA schools. So some of my personal goals, obviously, in the first one to five years, I need to get my praxis um, passed, go and finish up my mentoring program that first year, get my license. Um, I want to increase family time. You know, coaching has been such a huge part of my life and identity, and not that family hasn't, um, but there's just a lot of late nights and a lot of early mornings, and I know I have a big time commitment ahead of me as a principal, but um, I do want to dedicate more time for just being more family-centered. Um, rather than my family being a part of my school family and coaching, I want to just make them, you know, that main focus. And I wouldn't trade any of the coaching family tree for the world, but um, just dedicating some more time at home. I want to become a better dad, a better husband, um, continue building those relationships. I want to build new friendships at my new job. Um, I'm excited for that. Um, both professionally and personally, and I want to revisit old friendships. You know, like I said, it was I barely had time, you know, to make sure I dedicated enough time at home. Um, I feel like I lost some personal friendships over the years and got some distancing there with all my coaching. So I'm um, looking forward to revisiting some of those. Six to ten years, um, I would like to have things going great at Mission Valley as a principal um, to where I want to get my kids in there. Um, hopefully before six years, but that would be the ultimate goal is um, no more than six years if things are going well. Um, I think it would be good ages where kids could make a successful transition. We um, have plans we've always tossed around about maybe building our own home, so that would probably fall into the next six to ten years. And then just taking time for my marriage. Um, like I said, I, my wife has been an amazing supporter of my professional career coaching and all the time it took, and so 
Um, I just want to take some time to dedicate more time to her. And as our kids get older, um, it'll obviously be easier to do that. Beyond 10 years, not losing focus on the family. And the family has always been important to me growing up, and I want to make sure that gets instilled in my children as well. Maintaining those new and old friendships. I don't want to lose those again, like I said, and I want to make sure I'm building new ones at my new job. Um, you know, you get 10 years down the road, and I've been in education for um, 13, roughly. You know, then you're starting to talk about making sure you have a platform built for retirement. Um, that's a major personal goal of mine. I don't want to retire too late. I see that happen too often. Um, health goes bad and people don't get to enjoy that so I want to make sure I have a good plan for that and then my kids will be transitioning into you know my daughter will be transitioning closer into adulthood beyond 10 years from now so um, she'll be finishing up high school my son will be in junior high and that's um, really formative years that I want to make sure I don't miss out on anything so professional goals one to five years completing my training and licensure being a principal, make sure I get all of those things taken care of. I didn't. I just want to be an observer, especially year one in my new building. I want to be an observer and just see what works in the building, how it works, um, who makes it work, um, just what that foundation is, what our strengths and weaknesses are that we can build off of. Um, and I want to build my foundation as a principal on trust. You know, over the next five years, I just want the staff and the community the leadership team to say that they can trust me, um, that I'm organized, and so we'll be able to work better together. But it all starts with trust. I want to find ways to engage the staff, community, and students. And again, that starts with the trust factor, communication, um, and just being that relationship builder. But I want to have everybody engaged. I want everybody to feel like they're a part of it. Um, small schools, I think, have that special ability to be able to accomplish that. And then I want to have evidence of school improvement. I want to show that we've improved attendance. We've improved test scores. Um, we've improved building culture and climate. We've improved staff relationships. I want to um, have evidence of that in the first five years, that we are moving in the right direction. And it's already a very strong school, and they have a lot of strengths. And so I don't think um, moving forward is going to be a major challenge, but I just want to be able to show that evidence. Six to ten years professional goals is just continue maintaining strong relationships. That's what the world's all about. I've talked a lot about my family dynamics and relationships and wanting to maintain and build those, and it's the same thing with professional relationships. Um, whether I'm making connections with other building leaders or just the um, relationships in my building and community, but that's the main thing. Relationships are everything to me. Um, retaining and growing staff. You know, unfortunately, um, staff are going to move on to new jobs. Very unfortunate, some are going to leave education. Um, and unfortunately, some may have to be let go. But the number one goal is that the staff has stayed together and we're growing together. You know, we want to retain people and help them become better at what they do. Um, so that's the ultimate goal. Um, six to ten years down the road, we have a core staff in place. I want to be viewed as a mentor and a leader, but I don't want the title of the leader. You know, I don't want, oh, he's a leader because he's the principal. You know, I just want to be viewed that way. Like, he's a strong leader. I can go to him with issues. He's going to help me. He's going to listen to me. I want to be viewed as that, not just because I am the principal. Um, school, culture, climate, the positivity, the growth mindset, the welcoming um, feeling when you walk in the building. But I want climate and culture to be seen. I want that positivity to be seen um, in and out of the building that I work in. And then grooming future building leaders and administrators. I want to help groom students to be leaders. I want to help groom educators to want to move into the profession of being a principal or a building leader in some sort. Um, so I think that's a major responsibility of anybody in this position is that you're helping others get to where you were or better than you. Beyond 10 years, um, possibly be working on my district license. You know, once kids are grown and around the age of getting out of the house, maybe I'll look into moving on to a district licensure. Um, I just want to be proud to look back over the past 10 years. Um, there's obviously going to be regrets and mistakes made, but I want to be proud um, of what's happened over the last 10 years, both um, 
at work and at home. I want to continue to inspire others. That was always my goal as a coach, was to inspire people. I want to move that um, into my role as a principal, too, to inspire students and staff um, to be proud of their school and proud of themselves. I don't want to slow down. I don't want to lose motivation and lose inspiration for working with um, educators and working with students. I want to continue going forward um, and I want to motivate staff, students, community, and again, a small town, um, all three of those can be so closely related and that's what's exciting to me. So why did I choose Fort Hayes? Um, my superintendent um, has done some teaching there. He's an alumni there, so other co-workers have used this program and um, spoke very highly of it. 100% online was a huge draw. Obviously, that fit my schedule, my lifestyle. It worked with my family, my job of coaching, and being a special education teacher. And Doc Moody actually came to our district to do a presentation um, before school. And uh, once I saw that he was heavily involved with this program, um, that was kind of sealed the deal for me. My initial expectations, you just, you know, you worry about the time commitment. You know, I'm coach and I was a special ed teacher and um, I had two kids, one on the way, I guess, at the time. And um, so it was just a time commitment, you know. Am I going to have enough time for my job, my family, the cost of taking multiple classes at once if I wanted to finish faster? Um, and then building those relationships. I knew my red as a principal would start with my interactions with other um, people pursuing that same goal um, and just how it would affect my overall life and then how can I start building those relationships with my future peers. Um, you know at the end again I love the graphic up at the top that was off Fort Hayes website 96% job or grad school placement rate and I thought that was amazing so that gave me a lot of confidence I'm proud um, to be a member of this college and this program. I felt amazingly prepared for my interview. Um, I did, it took a lot of work and there's a lot of people that helped me, but I think these classes and modules and professors really helped me. And entering my first year as a principal while just finishing up this program, I feel extremely lucky um, for one. That doesn't happen. And I was very fortunate and blessed for it to work out the way it did. I'm thankful for all the interactions online. I'm thankful for the guidance from the teachers and staff. They were just amazing. Um, and something that I always had a trouble with in my undergrad was finding relevance in the information. Besides the ultimate goal of getting a degree, I always had trouble finding true relevance. And that hasn't been the case with this program. I thought every module was relevant um, to future building leaders. And so I loved that part and really cherished that. And that's the end. Thank you, everybody.